Lesson 91. Centro Comercial. In this lesson, we are learning how to say mall in Spanish. But in Spanish, it's really two words. Antonio, why don't you tell us about each of the new words we're learning in this lesson and how those two words together can mean mall. Centro Comercial, if you actually translate that literally, it could definitely mean just a co commercial center or shopping center. So another way of saying mall really is shopping center. So uh, what we're doing is center, uh, in Spanish means centro, and uh, comercial really means, uh, uh, it's, it's just a word related to commerce. So shopping in a way is related to, to commerce. So, so just think of it as we are definitely translating one word for word, but uh, we are uh, changing the order of, of the two words. Centro goes at the beginning, as opposed to the English uh, word uh, shopping center, which uh, where center goes at the goes second. So, um, but all that uh, uh, bottom line just means mall. Well, in, in English, we tend to put the adjective before the noun. Mm -hmm. And in Spanish, it seems as though you tend to put the adjective after the noun. Mm -hmm. So that would explain why the word comercial comes after centro. Mm -hmm. There's no written accent in the word comercial, but uh, there is a certain syllable that you're definitely supposed to accent. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, you're supposed to accent the, the last syllable. In this case, the last four letters which are C-I-A-L. So every time you have two vowels together in one syllable, uh, what, what that means is that one is going to be weak and the other one is going to be strong. In this case, the strong vowel is the A. So uh, this last syllable is going to sound like this, Cial. So just aim for that strong A as opposed to, to aiming for a strong I, which would sound like Cial. So no, don't do it like that. Just emphasize the letter A, Cial. So it's like a weak and fast I, and then emphasizing the A and aiming towards that A, A, A sound. So the whole, the whole word would actually sound like Comercial. So it's really three syllables, right? Uh, the, the, the whole word would be actually three syllables, yes. Centro, the accent goes in the in the first uh, syllable, just like in English, center. Uh, the, ac the, the emphasis would be in the first syllable. Okay, let's take a look at our exercises. In number one, nosotras vamos means we go. Al is a combination of the word a and el, so al will mean to the. Centro comercial means mall or shopping center, and todas las semanas means every week. So we'll translate number one as, we go to the mall every week. And number two, yo voy means I go. Al is a combination of a and el, so it means to the. Centro comercial means mall. Kong means with. Mis amigos means my friends. And todos los días means every day. So number two will say, I go to the mall with my friends every day. In number three, mis hijas means my daughters. The verb here is van, that's third person plural, to agree with mis hijas. So mis hijas van will say, my daughters go. All means to the, centro comercial means mall, and todos los días means every day. So number three will say, my daughters go to the mall every day. In number four, the first word of the sentence is the word vas. That's a verb in the second person singular, and it means you go. It includes the word you and the word go all in one word. Since this is a question, we'll translate vas as do you go? All means to the because it's a combination of the word a and the word el. Banco means bank. And todas las semanas means every week. So number four will say, do you go to the bank every week? 
In number five, we have the word si, which means yes. Voy means I go. The verb voy includes the word I and the word go all in one word. Al is a combination of a and el, so it means to the. Banco means bank. And todas las semanas means every week. So number five will say, yes, I go to the bank every week. In number six, ellos ven says they see. The direct object here is papa, which means dad. It's preceded by the word me, which means my. And since the direct object here is a human being, we need to put the personal a in front of it. So we have a mi papa. Todos los días means every day. So number six will say, they see my dad every day. In number seven, mis hijos means my sons, but often it just means my children. Quieren is the verb, that's third person plural, to agree with mis hijos. So mis hijos quieren will say, my children want. Un gato means a cat. So number seven will say, my children want a cat. In number eight, tu vas means you go, conmigo means with me. The word al is a combination of the preposition a, which means to, and el, which is a definite article. So al will mean to the. Centro comercial means mall, and todas las semanas means every week. So the first part of this sentence will say, you go with me to the mall every week. Then we have the word porque, which means because, and then somos means we are, and amigos means friends. So number eight will say, all together, you go with me to the mall every week because we are friends. In number nine, we have a question. The subject of the sentence is tu madre, that means your mother, and habla is the verb, that's third person singular, and it means speaks. But since this is a question, we'll translate it like this. We'll say, does your mother speak? And Espanol means Spanish. So number nine will say, does your mother speak Spanish? In number 10, no means no, like the answer to a question. Mi madre means my mother. The verb here is habla, which means speak. It's being negated by the word no, and Espanol means Spanish. So number 10 will say, no, my mother does not speak Spanish.